stop the run. Four, three, two, one, go. go. All right. Skip everything. Yeah, <laughs> skipping cutscenes right away. There's yeah. actually quite the precise timing for most mashing text and cutscenes. It's actually quite hard to be optimal with your cutscene skipping in this game. Yeah, it's uh, at the very least it's a lot more consistent than other titles um, when skipping cutscenes. Some of them are kind of weird, uh, wonky, but this game is uh, pretty fluent. So yeah, the the run starts by doing an RNG manip on this first uh, boss fight. So everything. Oh, and I already <laughs> screwed it up. <laughs> nice. I don't. I don't actually. Th no, if that's part of the many parts. Uh, no, it, I, I don't think it is. It's uh, this fight <coughs> don't leave me where hands. it matters. Nice. But yeah, I'm doing a specific set of hits every time. The combos in this game uh, are comprised of two normal hits and then a finisher. And then you can modify that with some uh, abilities and whatnot. Also, before that first fight, you saw me pick between three weapons. Uh, basically, one of them gives you plus one strength, the other plus two def plus one defense or plus one magic. I choose uh, strength. We always want strength to hit hard. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I didn't manip correctly. So uh. that guy does a pattern that I'm not used to, but it's not the end of the world. It's not necessarily that much slower. Yeah. It's just inconsistent. Yeah. So this game, there's moments where they want you to either fail to continue or you have to do something, so do hits uh, to proceed. So sometimes we'll take deaths when we can just speed up the process instead of just doing hits. Yeah, whenever it's faster uh, to, let's say, um, lose a fight or finish it uh, with a specific number of hits or whatever, we will do that. Yeah. So yeah, for the most part, um, the story goes that Roxas, this new character, um, he's basically in a simulated Twilight Town. Um, he's pretty much, he doesn't really know this, but uh, he finds out later on. And um, yeah, he's very not happy about it, but for the most part, he's just a kid trying to get money for a summer vacation, you know, like you do. So what do you do? You just get, you go to do jobs. That's pretty much it. Uh, funny enough, the, the game tells you that you need a certain amount of money, but the game then only checks if you've completed one job. So we just do the first one that is available and also happens to be fast. Yeah. And then we can just talk to Hayner. A lot of people don't know this when they first play through the game. And the, the only reward that you would get by getting more money is two AP boosts so that you can have more abilities equipped, but we have faster way to do that. And so, yeah, for now, our, uh, what we can do is very limited. This world basically is the big tutorial area of the game. So we really just have our yeah, weapon yeah. and that's it. Well, this guy did the attack that the first guy was supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Dusks so these guys, are, uh, yeah. their, their fight only ends after I've hit them 10 times. And so here I pick sword, it doesn't actually give me strength, it just uh, sets up the ability routes, like the order in which you get the abilities from level ups. And uh, sword is just the best, because you get very cool abilities like experience boost and um, combo boost very early on. Which also, other paths don't give. You might notice that we don't do full combos. Uh, part of the reason is, um, if you do a full combo, you will send enemies flying and so... It's better to just do two hits and then just do a full combo to finish them off. Yeah, I pretty much have in my head how many, uh, what combinations of blank hits and finishers uh, each enemy needs to be dealt uh, to die at this point in the game at least. Yeah. And so here is our first menu. Yeah, they throw you like uh, three, four tutorials on how to equip stuff and then they're like, go. <laughs> they don't really teach you more in-depth stuff, which is kind yeah. of a unfortunate thing. But Th There are some more hidden tutorials, but uh, there is one menu in specific that, in which we 
intentionally trigger tutorials so that we don't have them after. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I tried to damage boost out off of that attack twice and I failed twice. <laughs> so good, we're in beginner. We got yeah. this. <laughs> it's true, I didn't really specify this. Uh, we are running on beginner, which is the easiest difficulty and it's also the fastest uh, for any percent at least. Uh, we are doing a different category, but it's still uh, the fastest, either that or critical mode. Yeah. So, so, the, so uh, yeah, go the, ahead. Do you want to talk differences? I guess. Um, I, I was going to introduce uh, reaction commands. All oh, right. Yeah. Which are those uh, yeah, those triangles uh, that pop up. So that's pretty much this fight is pretty much a tutorial for them. Yeah. Also, let me introduce you to the real heroes of this story. <laughs> The, the boys, best. as we call them. Yeah. That's the best part of the game, right there, honestly. Yeah, so, beginner mode versus crit. Uh, what is the difference? You just get some starter abilities with crit, where you don't get them in beginner mode. And um, some people might say, okay, is that a big deal breaker? Some fights actually work differently in beginner mode. A little bit more challenging, I guess, compared to crit. You also get draw, which is uh, very useful for some fights later, where we need to grab orbs, and uh, that's pretty much it for the most part. But it's uh, enemies also hit harder in crit compared to beginner, but you know, you manage it either way. So we want to stay in front of um, Twilight Thorn's face because he doesn't actually attack. The main problem is that he just does the circle or thing, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty Simple fight. Very nice. Yeah, nice to done. After that, as any teenage boy does, we are going to enter a fighting tournament. <laughs> it's too real, man. Teenage yeah. drama, you know? Like. I think every teenage boy enters fighting tournaments during their summer vacations, right? Yeah, I remember doing that at some <laughs> point in my life. <laughs> But yeah, um, so you just enter the struggle of tournament. Um, it's three fights, uh, Hainer, Vivi, and uh, Setzer. They're pretty simple, I, I'd like to think. Nice. So I'm just bullying him in the corner, pretty much. Yes, that is the intended way to beat your best friend up. A lot of beating your friends in this game. No, oh my one god. Old. Wow, okay. that, that was almost good. <laughs> that, that was, was a good really save, good. at least. <laughs> That's pretty good. To note, you do win the fights if you, uh, if you have more orbs at the end of the timer, but we obviously much prefer not losing 30 seconds waiting for the end of the timer. Yeah. It's also tough because you don't have draw, like I mentioned earlier. Like, um, draw allows you to pick up any nearby objects. Therefore, oh, that was bad. Oh my god. I don't know if that still works. Oh god. Oh, I think Ooh. that still works. Okay. Yeah, I think it does, yeah. You're good. I'll have to just hit Vivi twice when he's knocked out, but it still worked, the strats, so I'm happy. Don't steal my orbs. That's Thank really you. good. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, this fight in particular is very challenging. The hitbox is very small, and um, yeah, Vivi's not really making it easy. Yeah, um, and the, the strat I did is actually pretty precise. Yeah. So I was actually surprised that it worked after I had a small mistake. Oh, oopsie. Oh, man. Weaving hits. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts and Weaving hits. Name a more iconic duo. Here I counted my hits, so I knew I could do the finisher without... Uh, throwing the enemy away. I knew that it would end the fight. Yeah. That's more like it. Yeah, we get introduced to Axel here. He's basically the type of guy that just, you know, you're that friend. You don't remember some stuff, and he's like, "Hey, we used to be friends. You know, like you remember our boss's name." And Roxas is like, "I don't know who you are. I've never met you before." And um, yeah, basically we just have a fight to kind of jog our memory, but it doesn't do anything. Unfortunately. Uh, actually, it was bad, Axel, but thanks for the support. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, this this fight is uh, stupid precise, too. 
A lot of stuff in uh, the Roxas section is quite My precise. Is yeah. This fight introduces us to losing on purpose. Yep. We want to get hit and we want to pretty much die. Funny enough, uh, a lot of things are slower on this easier difficulty because you take much more time to die. Yep. Basically, the reason why we want to lose is it doesn't really save time to win, and uh, losing actually gives you a very important item, which is the medal. And you mentioned, I mentioned that every time I can gain strength, I will go for that. So the medal uh, does that. If you win, you get some piece of armor, but the medal gives you plus one strength. Yeah. And the armor really doesn't matter. Even in the harder difficulties, they would rather have strength. Yeah, you get like better armor anyway later down the road, so it's not really worth to just win. It's better to get the medal. Getting that extra strength where you can't really get it with uh, accessories, I guess, you know, like uh, rings and stuff, like it's better to just have it right there. Yeah, otherwise you would need to buy stuff. And yeah. We want to keep our money for... Yeah, money route is pretty tight as well, so... Yeah. At least during the early game. After that, it gets better, but... Yeah. So I'm equipping the medal for the plus one strength. I will need it uh, as soon as possible. Yeah, so at this point, we're basically just uh, going around. We heard some rumors, you know, the Seven Wonders. What is that? Is it, you know, something interesting? Well, apparently it's... Um, we're gonna myth bust them, and uh, funnily enough, uh, these events occur for Roxas, but they don't occur for anyone outside of him. So, like, anyone else just can't see that. It's basically in Roxas's uh, head. Let's yeah, see. he apparently sees stuff and hears voices that no one else is hears and yeah. stuff like that. We all do. <laughs> As all teenage boys do. Yeah. Once again. <laughs> it's great. Great stuff. And look who's back for round two. Yeah. This fight is uh, pretty annoying to deal with, unfortunately. It's pretty RNG heavy with yeah. the spawns as well. It's unfortunate because there are clones that spawn and that also end up attacking. And you may parry hits, you may miss, you know, whiff some hits. Like, it's pretty inconsistent. It's unfortunate. Like, it, you can't really do much about it. I mean, I can try to have them grouped up like so. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice air combo. Yeah. Oh, by the way, air combos. We haven't really talked about air oh, combos. Oh, yeah, we should. Yeah, important. Air combos are faster than ground combos. The animations are faster. So whenever possible, we do them. Um, that's pretty much all about air combos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, uh, when we get control to Sora, uh, we actually use air combos because ground combos are very slow. Um, they don't deal like, you know, bigger damage or anything like that, uh, unless you get combo boost or air combo oh, boost. Yeah, they, they will eventually, yeah. but not at first. Basically. But uh, yeah, faster combos equals better. So air combos for the most part is better, wherever possible. Nice. Yeah, cool movement incoming. It's actually funny because Shadow Roxas can do a move where even though you're not very close to the uh, struggle bat, you can still get hit on the side. I don't know, the hitbox is uh, yeah. something else. <laughs> Hitboxes are a myth. They yeah. don't exist. We just shattered that myth, man. <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not existing anymore. But yeah, so there is an infamous crash here, which... Um, uh, thankfully, it's uh, very easy to kind of, you know, not trigger, but if you mash triangle so much, like if you really mash triangle, there is a chance that there is a frame to jump and you'll jump the incorrect way, like instead of uh, on top of a trash can, over a trash can rather, um, you can just like go out of bounds essentially where the game thinks that, you know, should go and uh, the game crashes, <laughs> which is really funny. Yeah, I pretty much just hit triangle once or twice, I try to time it. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, after that we'll just go, pretty much just move around until we go to the mansion. So if you have anything to say, uh, feel free to do so. Yes, we do have something nice because we have a 35 do uh, euro uh, anonymous donation. So thank you so much for that donation. Everybody supports a wonderful charity. And uh, if you want to show some support to the events themselves, you can, of course, consider using your free monthly Prime Gaming subscription over on 
the ESA channel. That way you support both the ESA and BSG events and you get access to uh, some really good emotes. Yeah, so whenever we have access to skateboards, we use them because they're close to the fastest way to move in the game. I guess it, when, if you are in post game and you have glide and whatnot, that <laughs> might be faster. Yeah. But other than that, if we see a skateboard, we take it. Yeah. Skateboard is actually like the best thing in this game. Unfortunately, it's not used a lot. Um, it's like here and there sometimes and depends on the, uh, the world, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's really cool to move around. So now we have uh, two Dusks, one uh, Assassin. Axel again tries to confront us and be like, hey, I'm your friend, listen to me. And uh, we don't listen to him, of course, because, uh, you know, we don't know who he is, even though we do. And that was a good fight. That was a really good fight, yeah. So yeah, uh, we have to go to the mansion. Um, some voice told us, hey, Roxas, go to the mansion. Uh, mysterious man that we met earlier. <laughs> We skipped him, you know, plot plot reasons. Um, but yeah, we basically... Yeah, I got damaged. Oh, man. The... <laughs> Finally. Nice. So yeah, we basically go to the mansion. Um, what is in the mansion? Yeah. Well, some answers, um, basically. And um, we just go ahead and see the truth for our own eyes, or Roxas in that case. And uh, he says that his summer vacation is over, essentially. And uh, yeah. We get control to Sora, which is really nice. Yeah, we like Sora. Yeah. Like, Roxas is really good, but, like, man. Like, I don't know. I, I feel Sora is, like, more fleshed out. Yeah, but that's one thing that the game does well, honestly. You you are very happy to get control of Sora because Roxas is so wonky. Yeah. But, yeah, if you... Look at the cutscenes and whatnot. You also get attached to Roxas, yeah. and then you're sad. And yeah, it's it's really like they really did a good job to kind of uh, you know draw you into this new character essentially to feel for him, even though you don't really know the full extent, I suppose, unless you play the other titles, uh, one DS title in particular. But one DS title that wasn't out when this game came yeah. out initially, so unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah. We got four Dusks, two Assassins. Uh, this fight is pretty, it can get pretty annoying. Uh, but yeah, we try to do as many hits as possible. Yeah, here I'm trying to not do finishers to keep them in a group, like so. Yep. Unless I'm certain that the finisher will kill. Here I wasn't certain, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna attack the Assassins anyway. Oh my oh. god. Why did I try to do that in the air? Had I done that on the ground, it would have been fine. Yeah, okay, there you go. And I did one too many hits as well, but oh well. That's okay. Yeah, assassins have this uh, kind of annoying thing where you have to attack them to basically parry their uh, parry hit, and then they just get yeah. um, vulnerable. Because, because we don't have access, I mean, we do have access to Gala, just don't have it equipped at this yeah. point. No, it's not worth even. Like, it's better to parry that. But yeah, we fight Axel again. You know, you, you thought that we hadn't seen more of him, but um, he's so f uh, flattered um, to the point where he just creates this uh, pool of fire. Yeah, that's but, like the coolest thing ever, this yeah. fight. <laughs> Except he doesn't know that we have um, shoes that are apparently like... Fireproof. Yeah, yeah I guess. fireproof. You know, Especially like, in beginner. Yeah. <laughs> I find that really funny. Like, it's there's no explanation. It's just yeah, he can just walk on fire. Yeah, know, just fine. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah. Uh, no. I was confused. I didn't think I needed to walk at this point. Yeah. I was ready for the next cutscene. <laughs> Menu okay. time. Yep. No. Oh. Yeah, so right here we basically customize our party members. We also get their items because they tend to waste items. Um, and we make better use of them by, um, you know, giving them to Sora, essentially. Yeah, the potions don't matter too much. I, I mean, we do want to have specific HP values to trigger um, an ability called Experience Boost later on. So it's best if party members don't heal us. Uh, but other than that, it's mainly Donald Ether that we want, because Ethers are uh, a very nice item. They replenish your 
MP, which we will use to cast spells. We don't have access to any spells right now, but... Yeah. We we'll get access soon. later. Yeah. So yeah, this fight is uh, one of those fights, like we mentioned earlier. There are two scenarios. It's uh, It can be a timed fight, or it can be a death abuse fight. In crit, normally you die here, but in beginner mode, since we have a lot of defense, and it's kind of difficult to get hit, it's better to just fight enemies, get as much experience as you can, and just um, basically make the fight run out of yeah. time. Uh, so, actually, there is time as a condition, but the, the one that we're actually using is the number of hits. That's why I'm trying to yeah. not use finishers. Th that's actually the a third uh, Yeah, there's a third way. one, yeah, as well. Two. So that's why, as well, I'm not using finishers, because that way I can maximize the number of hits that I do per minute, basically. Yeah. It's also better and because you if, don't send enemies flying. Yeah, if I hit multiple enemies at once as well, it counts, so... Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and there. once I get the level up, then I start using finishers because it doesn't matter if I use a finisher or not. I'm gonna kill in three hits anyway. Yeah, the lock oh on my system. God. <laughs> that guy is like right. That lock on. <laughs> that guy was like right next to me, but no, yeah. Sora wanted to hit the other one. Yeah, oh it's well. a bit weird. Does that sometimes. Yeah, lock on in this game is pretty weird to ch like switch targets. You have to like hold L2 and just like move the left analog stick or something. Like, yeah, it's you, you have to bizarre. get used to it. Yes. Yeah. Every other game does it better, to be fair. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, once you're used to it, it's fine. But casually, I guess it's not the best. Yeah. So shadows are the worst enemy ever. Why? Because they go underground. And um, if you've played KH1 ever... Donald, the oh MVP. God. Thank you, Donald. <laughs> the boys are great. Party members. <laughs> Good job. Um, yeah, if you play KH1, you know shadows are the worst enemy ever. In KH2, they do the same thing and um, are even more annoying, which is great. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. But yeah, we basically go up to Yensen now um, because My there was God, a message. Donald on a streak. <laughs> He's Donald really, out for he's really right going now. ham. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, so party members also help uh, a ton, but sometimes, I don't know, they tend to be like a lot more defensive rather than offensive, like on the offensive pretty much. Like it's pretty bizarre, but you know. Oh my God, Donald. <laughs> nice. So we basically have uh, some floors with fights. Two floors, I think. Yeah, two floors. We have one more fight yeah. in yeah, the so, tower. Yeah. Also, my EXP is a bit high. Um, you, you would think that you would want as much EXP as possible, but it's actually better to be slightly underleveled because there is a point where we, as I said, want to have low uh, HP to gain more EXP in turn. And uh, so we want to avoid level 11 nice. that has a defense up. But yeah, that was a, a triple with the soldier, so yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, so sometimes um, we can manipulate some situations, some enemies to give us reaction commands or, you know, certain scenarios that we want them in, and um, we can just get free hits like that, which is really nice. And couple that with uh, reaction boost, which increases... Um, the attacks done by reaction commands. We don't actually have it yet, but we get it later. Yeah. Yeah. Critical mode has a reaction boost by default, I think. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. Like, but we, we get it on level 15. Yeah. What we do get now, though, is Valoform. Yeah. Win. And a Keyblade to come with it, which is nice. I wonder why we would need two Keyblades. <laughs> yeah. So this game introduces this yeah. mechanic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's fine. Not yeah, remembering when to walk and when to skip cutscenes. Hey, it's all good, man. No worries. Um, so this game introduces this new mechanic called drive forms. Um, they are basically a very essential tool for any fight because it basically changes your move set. But you, the idea is that for Valor form, for example, you get um, you 
You have to use, you, you, Goofy needs to be out to use it. And uh, if any yeah. like party member, like Donald, for example, or Goofy is um, dead, yeah, it's kind of um, hard to use uh, forums. Later on, of course, we get forums that you need both party members. But Valor form is really good because you can just do a lot of hits like that. It's really nice. Um, funny enough, uh, they also have growth abilities, which is high jump, also a nice camera. Yeah. That's, a, <laughs> that's an amazing thing that can happen. Um, we get growth abilities out of them, which is high jump, quick run, dodge roll, like very important stuff, basically. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be leveling up Valor form. Uh, wisdom form and master form, which are essential for this uh, category. Yep. And um, the way you go about it is, for valor form, it levels up based on hits. So the more hits you do, finishers don't actually count, unfortunately. I I think they do. They just are well, I guess not, uh, a bit less good because the normal hits hit twice yeah, they, they and hit they twice, have more yeah. hit boxes. I think they do count, but. Hmm. Uh, like I did on Maybe. the soldier, I didn't do any finishes because it did more hits yeah. in turn. But yeah, Plus, for the most part, um, yeah, it's uh, you just want to hit a, a lot of times for Valor to level up. Um, there's certain conditions we will have to meet to level drive forms. This fight sucks. Like, let's I mean, be honest. Leon is doing a good job He's doing right really now. Good. So, but yeah, but I'm I'm oh the I'm the one with the skill issue right now. <laughs> nah, you good, man. You got this. Yeah, so yeah. Bailey is, man, no one likes this fight, let's be honest. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, security. Yeah. I don't know if it was Leon or the security system, actually. I think it was Leon. Oh my god. It stole my reaction command. Yeah. This dual stance. Actually, no, it was security system, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think. You would think that the security system helps you, but no. Yeah, you no. would think that Leon helps you as well, but sometimes he doesn't. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, we use dual stance because it actually... Ah, uh, okay. uh, it's fine. I, yeah. I wanted to maybe make him walk a bit more to the gates, but... Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it is okay. I still fine. have my blizzards. Oh, now he powers up. Okay. Good, good job, Leon. <laughs> yeah, so this fight is... Um, oh, the security system actually got the kill. What? Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, so... That fight is very rough all the time, unfortunately. You can't really optimize that as much. Like, you have to count on Leon and, you know, um, I guess Samurai just, like, being close to other enemies to actually kill a lot of enemies with uh, the reaction command as well. Yeah. Also, plot reason. You can't go to Twilight Town. No way, man. What? Gummy missions? What are that? What? 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 What do you mean side-scrollers? We don't do that. Skip it. Okay, in all seriousness, though. <laughs> yeah, so oh, we skip gummy missions because they're not really, they're not really that good to do. Like it's just, you know. Um, yeah. This is a mod, by the way. It's not me yeah. skipping. The, no, no, no. They, it's not me performing a skip. Yeah. It's just a, a, another version of the game. Yeah. Pretty much. That's. Oh my God! That shadow. Did you see that? Yeah, I, I did see that. <laughs> it can happen sometimes, yeah. you know. That's so bizarre. I've never had that. The, the more you play the game, the more you realize how wonky it is sometimes. Yeah. There's a lot At of stuff. At first, it happens. looks very pretty and very well made, but yeah. But yeah, uh, we skip gummy missions. They're not really interesting to really do. And uh, since we have the opportunity to do that, we do it with a mod. So now we have missions. Um, those missions are actually mandatory to proceed. We have to do them. Um, all three missions have the morale gauge, also level up. Um, the morale gauge decreases with time, but it, it, every time you also get hit, there's like morale orbs uh, released. Of course, if you also kill enemies, you make sh you want to make sure that you don't lose that morale gauge at all. Otherwise, you fail yeah, the mission. It's usually not a problem unless you are in the practice room and you fail, <laughs> <laughs> like I did earlier. But nah. It can happen, honestly. Donald like, is Thunder. I, I switch uh, party members depending yeah. on if I need Goofy for Valorform or Donald for his Thunder. Yeah. That's another cool thing. Um, so this game introduces like party switching, which wasn't a thing in Cage 1. You had to like go to a save point to switch party members. But now you can do it through a separate menu, which is really nice. By the way, if there was a uh, list of the best and worst party members, Ping would probably be among the worst. <laughs> this yeah. is Ping, by the way. Yeah. 
We are actually helping Ping prove his value yeah. uh, for the Chinese army right now. Unfortunately, Ping is not doing a good job. Yeah, but he has a good heart and we uh, want to help him. You know, he's trying. Oh my god. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit low on drive. As you can see, my gauge is at 2. I uh, I wanted at 3 at the end of the next mission. Yeah. So, unlike, um, like, growth abilities, we also use, like, Valor Form, for example. Like, you know, our base movement, it's pretty all right, but we could definitely do better. So, Valor Form, because you get both Keyblades, you, get, you also get a faster speed. So, we take advantage of that, and we're actually going to use it in the next section. Yeah, most of the early game, we actually use Valor just to run quicker. Yeah. Nice. Donald, oh finish your God. job, Donald. He, he started the job, but then he didn't finish it. Yeah, that's Donald, all right. <laughs> so another cool thing you can do with drive forms, um, you know, of course, hitting enemies is great, but you can also drive explosion and kill them. If you want to, of course, like there, there needed to be another hit there, but still, hey, it's all good. It's really nice too. Um, so drive explosions actually count as finishers, which is yeah, that is going to be yeah. handy later. Yeah, for a certain a, section. Yeah. Mountain climb. It's actually extremely tight on that category because I need to grab extra chests compared to any percent. Yep. Also, enemies spawn and uh, make it yeah, kind of uh, yeah, hard time. No, oh my on. god, that's the worst thing he could have picked. Okay, I'm gonna run out of drive, but that's okay. Here I do nice. a precise pause uh, timing to uh, to parry those two Nightwalkers. Yeah. But yeah, the reason why I'm grabbing all those extra chests is because I want to synth a drive recovery at some point. Drive recoveries are going to be crucial to perform core skip, which gives me the, the crown at the end. Oh my god, for a second I thought it wasn't going to hit the um, Storm Raid. Uh, uh, that sorry, setup is the, pretty consistent. Yeah, the... Yeah. But in any percent, you usually come from the other side. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. I'm used to the other side, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> but I, I know that it works. Yeah. So that's why I went for it. Of course. So yeah, we basically um, we heard that Shanyu is hiding in the cave. So yeah, we go check it, and what do you know? We don't have all our party members. We only got Ping, which is yeah, really nice. No, no Valor form. Yeah. I mean, Ping is trying, but uh, he is. Yeah. His best is not enough most of the time. <laughs> it's a bit rough. Yeah, so um, the good thing about Cage 2 is they give you a lot of tools early game. You get fire, you get blizzard, you get, you know, thunder. Very essential tools that can really make fights like this, like, less of a pain. Like, look at that. So good. Unfortunately, I will barely be level 11, I think. Oh here. my god. Had I not killed extra stuff, I wouldn't have been, but I wanted to kill the extra stuff for the Valor experience, regular experience, and the chance for them to drop a Dark Shot, because I could have skipped a, a chest yeah. if that was the case. But level 11 is not a, a... It's less good, but it's not really a problem either. Worst case scenario, I will just have to kill some more stuff uh, on my way in Olympus. Yeah. Yeah, like we said, for the most part, like, um, when you're out, it's pretty tight. We mainly want to stick to, you know, not really having to buy stuff if uh, we must. Unless we really have to, of course, but, yeah. And if we can sell items uh, to uh, buy something, like a, a, a different item, like a potion or whatever, we will. Yeah, it can happen in Disney Castle. Yeah. But I do that. Uh, Experience. Uh, um, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you Thanks, co-pilots. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, so this fight is, uh, again, another example, timed fight. We can't really do much to speed it up, unfortunately. Um, we just have to wait there for like a minute or so. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's just pretty boring. The only thing we do is uh, we just go to red health to activate experience boost, which allows us to get more experience. Yeah. So that would be a, a good time if you have anything to say. 
Yes, I absolutely do, because I figured uh, the next run has a donation bid war going, so maybe if people want to snipe a character for uh, the Mario Party 5 run coming up. Uh, currently, have Waluigi in the lead with 15, we got 10 on Yoshi, and just over 7 euros for Daisy, but any other characters could still be up for grabs if you want to go and uh, put a donation towards that. And another uh, incentive, the one after that that is open, is Sports Story Do Serious Golf. And that one is only 10 euro short, so if you want to finish that one, that's also a beautiful incentive to put your money towards. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't get as much EXP as I wanted, but I can just kill some stuff on the way later on, so that's yeah. no biggie. Yeah, unfortunately, that fight also has um, bolt towers, which um, they have this annoying reaction command where you have to bolt reversal the um, bolt that you throw at you. Uh, you can kind of control it a little bit, but it's uh, you can still get grabbed, which is a bit unfortunate. Give me strength. It can happen. The chest that I would have skipped. Have I had a dark shot drop? <laughs> no, my three seconds. <laughs> no. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> Might yeah. as well reset. <laughs> yeah. Easier easier to do, I guess. But yeah, so right now we pretty much just um, go to the palace because uh, we heard Sean Yu is there. And um, he's about to go to the Emperor. And um, yeah, we're basically just going to stop him. Can't do much. We're just casually saving China, basically. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know how it is. Oh, by the way, uh, Ping is gone and uh, Mulan is in our party and yeah. she's uh, a bit more useful than Ping, but still not great. Yeah. I'm, I'm not really great either right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, bolt towers are just annoying. Yeah, they're really annoying to deal with. The, the problem is, like, their hitbox is just so annoying to try and get most of the time. Like, it's... It's annoying to chase that hitbox. And the problem is we don't have any combo modifiers, um, air yeah. combo modifiers specifically to make it easier to go close to them. The Shan Yu boss fight. Uh, basically, I'm gonna whack him with Valor Form and hopefully hit an HP gate while he, return, he will turn purple and enter his second phase. Nice. Oh, nice, nice not locking on. Good job, Milan. <laughs> yeah, at least Milan killed stuff. Yeah. Yeah, those enemies can actually hit the gates. Um, there's a bar on the top left, you can see. If they hit the gates, uh, it's over. So we have to basically kind of not let them. Which can happen, by the way. They can actually hit the gates and uh, you end up losing the fight, but thankfully, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to happen, right? Yeah, we're good. It's good, man. You got this. <laughs> Yeah, with slide dash, it's quite easy. Yeah. I can just blitz up him twice. And nice. We're good. Let's go. Yeah, this fight is like, um, the most annoying thing is like the bird and uh, I guess the enemies, but yeah, for the most part, it's pretty simple. By the way, the reason Best why we lane. went to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is arguably the worst kid lane <laughs> in the entire game. You, you just get MP rage, you know, zero strength. Like, what is it oh, like? Oh, 2-2, two, two, I think it is. Yeah. Maybe it was in original, it had the zero or something. Yeah, I, I think it had zero. Anyway, but yeah, go on. Uh, yeah, I was saying, the reason why we went to Land of Dragons first is for the experience from the summit fight, and then we proceed with Olympus because it has a lot of good stuff. And then we go to uh, Biscassol because it doesn't have a lot of good stuff, so we can do it last and just go fast and kill everything there. Yep. Slide dashing is my best form of movement right now because I don't have access to Valorform. If you yep. want to explain that. Yeah, so in the story, uh, as we land in Olympus, uh, Sora notices, or at the very least he doesn't right now, but he will notice that his strength is kind of limited. His powers are kind of not really there. That's actually because of the uh, underground curse that occurs. And um, how do you combat it? With an Olympus stone, which we grab later. Um, but for the most part, we're restricted on using summons and drive forms, which summons we don't really have any yet, but... Yeah, we will later. But yeah, so basic attacks, magic are our best friend for now. And limits. Yeah, and as far as movement goes, yeah, it's just slight dashing into stuff when it's convenient and getting damage boosted. Yeah. Because we, we, we can afford that with our HP. Actually, in critical and level one, uh, they do oh my God. get damage boosted as well, but they need to use a potion, which is pretty funny because yeah. potion takes time. 
Oh, thank you, boys. You killed stuff. Very nice. Making nice. my life a bit less uh, miserable from yeah. the, the missed EXP earlier. But yeah, so Hades um, is really annoying. <laughs> Why is he annoying, you may say? Like, maybe that's part of his character arc. Um, no, he's actually annoying because we can't really fight him. He's just being like, oopsie daisy, I got, you know, plot armor. <laughs> he doesn't care. Um, so we just focus on the enemies pretty much and we have to escape um, his, you know, we, we have to escape the area. So how do we do that? Yeah, just, you know, kill enemies. <laughs> yeah. Um, Orin actually joined our party. He's um, someone that Hades actually brought from, like he was dead, I guess, and he got revived. And um, now he joined our party. Like he doesn't really care about what sort of reasoning Hades has. So yeah, he's like, I'll join you. He also has uh, a really cool limit called Bushido, which we'll actually utilize later in the on, last run, kill him, platform. Or I guess oh, I man. can do it myself. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's party members are just kind of sleepy sometimes. It's fine. It's all it. <laughs> it's all according to plan. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, so you might see like we actually use bat cries. Um, they're actually really good. Like yeah, because yeah, it's a nice enemies. AOE type thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm grabbing money on the way as well. Uh, don't kill my bat. Oh no. Bat try only works if Sora is the one. Uh, Hitting the bat last, so when they steal my kill or they try to hit the bat, well, I can't use it. Yeah. So, yeah, um, Orin's limit is pretty good. It deals a lot of damage, it's AoE. But, uh, have I had the bat try, these uh, enemies probably would have been dead, maybe? I guess yeah. I can use that reaction for me. Yeah. Oh, that was actually oh, nice. experience boosted. Slight dashing into Hades, oh, yeah, let's right, go. Right, yeah. You're, uh, you can do that. Yeah. You, you are indeed allowed to do that. Yeah. You can slight dash into that as well. Yeah. Pretty sick if you ask me. Like, it's uh, it's really cool. And that... you can also slight dash into this dude if yeah. you don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> if Warren allows you to, yeah. As well. Yeah, as well. Yeah, party members, sometimes they're kind of like. I guess instead of being a crutch, they're actually like more of a pain, if anything. Like they just push enemies away, which, you know, that's how they're designed to help you. But yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate. Sometimes you want enemies close to you and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think for that uh, rabbit dog, I'm actually supposed to lock on him if I want to slight dash. I think that might be why. Yeah, it didn't probably. Work. So yeah, now we have the Cerberus fight, which this fight is really cool. Has one of the best reaction commands, yeah. I feel. But um, we will use it actually. Yeah. We'll actually if get anything to see goes it. to plan. Yeah, we will get to see it. So unlike uh, critical mode, where you actually die here because you want Mickey to save you, you're like, oh my god, I can't defeat this boss. And game's like, all right, Mickey time. Um, no, I got the Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, you also got like rocks in the background as well, which uh, kind of make this a pain. But um, yeah, so unlike having Mickey here to actually deal most of the damage, you're pretty like strong anyway to defeat uh, Cerberus. Also, it would be like a big waste of time to try and uh, die here because we have so much defense, unlike crit. Do you want to explain desperation moves? Oh yeah, sure. So because that just happened before. Yeah. So. Um, every boss has one sort of special attack called the Desperation move, where the screen kind of darkens, um, and they basically are invulnerable uh, sometimes. Not every time, of course. Some bosses are um, open to attack, but you can basically um, deal with it, and uh, sometimes, like, again. Yeah, depending on the boss, sometimes you can skip it. Here, when Cerberus yeah. was uh, throwing fireballs, I just use Oren's limit because that's the easiest way to, to deal with it while dealing damage to Cerberus. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, again, some bosses later, like when they do a desperation move, they're not actually open for hits. Um, it mm. really depends on the boss. And uh, yeah. When we do, uh, when we are able to actually hit them during it, we do. And now we use again Valor for movement. Yeah, because we're not in the, the underworld. We are yeah. actually... We're in the Colosseum. Yeah, we're in the Colosseum. And <laughs> so we, we, we get our powers back. Yeah, we went on the part that everyone enjoys, you know, minigames. 
Especially the without draw on yeah. the oh beginner mode. Yeah. Man, this hurts. <laughs> this really hurts. So, yeah, here we basically do Phil's training. Um, feels yeah. like you're weak or whatever. <laughs> and as he always does, he's like, two words, go train or something. And um, yeah, he just has like a specific training regime and uh, we just kind of do his thing. We have to collect uh, 20, actually, yeah, it's 20 orbs at the start and now it's 100. Um, yeah. You might say, well, that's a lot of orbs. Funny right, story. Yeah, right now I'm not actually trying to get orbs. I'm just trying to break as many parts as possible because that makes uh, all the parts spawn. Yeah. I um, mean, of course, if I can get orbs, I get them. But yeah. We actually get a chance to collect a lot of orbs with this big urn. Anyone likes bowling? There we go. It's <laughs> great. I love that. And there you go. Simple. Nothing crazy. We also get one of the best abilities in this game, Aerial Dive. Um, unlike H2 Original, you didn't have access to some of those abilities. They're Final Mix exclusive, so Aerial Dive is like better than Aerial <laughs> yeah. Sweep, which... That's like a buffed version. Yeah. This game also has Aerial Sweep, but we just don't use it. Yeah. Also, Power Boost. If I can get Strength, I get it. Yep. So I'm actually going to use it now. Yeah, go for it. Got to be strong, am I right? Yeah. That's what Phil's training is for. <laughs> it's funny he always says that, but it's like, I don't know if they're getting stronger or not. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, while we do what we do here, um, we go to get the Olympus Stone because basically Herc is like trying his best, um, but he feels like he's losing his strength, so we got to get it back. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm just going to kill some ghosts here because they do give quite a bit of experience and uh, oh my god I, I I'm very under experienced right now and that soldier like scared me <laughs> I guess I can do that yeah sure oh I'll... man that would have that would have been nice if it actually hit the ghost but eh, and it's fine funny enough I went just at this mithril shot chest and I actually need a mithril shot so whenever I have to kill ghosts I usually take that one instead of uh, another one that is a bit slower. Yeah, so now we get introduced to one of the best bosses in this game. It's Demix. Dance, water, dance. Do you guys want to dance? <laughs> dance, water, dance. Dance, water, dance, boy. <laughs> yeah. So we're dancing. Um, we, while dancing, as the reaction yeah. command says, um, we just have to kill 100 forms in the required amount of time. Yeah, we... It's not really tight to do it in that amount of time, to be honest. But yeah, we we still want to go as fast as possible. Of course. Also, um, Demix sees us as Roxas. He doesn't know who Sora is. He knows who Roxas is, though, and um, and they kind of look alike, I guess. Yeah, they look alike. I don't know how, but uh, he insults us at the end. Yeah, he said it's not bad. <laughs> He's like, wow, you're weak. <laughs> no, that was not bad. Yeah, not bad. In terms of time, I, I, I mean. <laughs> yeah, of course. That was not bad. Yeah, so now we grab the Olympus Stone. We can use drive forms. Yay. And what's the first thing we do? You may ask. We oh, use drive forms. We use drive forms, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, there is another system, which we didn't actually mention, um, that ties into drive forms. So some people might know this, uh, might not. There's uh, a form called anti-form, which can be triggered if you use too many drives, um, drive forms. Uh, we can actually manipulate a hidden meter in the game, which is anti-points. And how do we do that? Well, we use drive forms in specific points, and every time you grab a new form, that counter actually resets. So for the most part, um, if you can avoid using a dry form, if you think you're about to go into anti form, if you use it before a battle, then you're good. But if you use it during a battle, uh, you might trigger anti form. Someone stole my kill. Man. Basically, this part is uh, a time uh, fight. So, what we're trying to do is we're just trying. You, you can't kill Pete, as you can see. Yeah. So, what we're trying to do is just kill as many enemies as possible uh, while using XP or X boost. I don't think I'll have time to yeah, spawn the next wave. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's, it's all good. We will hit level 14 in this fight, though, which is what I ultimately want. Ah. 
I didn't hit level 14 yet. There okay. you go. Come oh my on. god. Pinball. Let's go. <laughs> Anyone likes that. bowling ball too? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Oh yeah, I clearly didn't have enough. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh Dwayne my the rock. god, the, the, the rock, go. dude. Dwayne the rock, back at it again. Yeah. Dang it, man. Alright, we get Trinity Limit, which is a very cool ability. Yeah. That ability is actually very useful because um, you'll see in a, in a bit <laughs> what it does. It's really yes, cool. you will. Nope, not customize. Yeah, so Trinity Limit, I guess, um, you know, you probably played the first game. Is it as OP, I guess? You'll find out. It's really good, though. Uh, it's really nice. We actually use it in uh, many fights. We'll get into detail when we actually ah, go for it. Oh my I God. reverted at the, the wrong time. Oh, that's I didn't fine. have enough drive. Oh, man. There we go. Nice. That's all right. Oh, yeah, the, the, the classic uh, get up on the Hydra's back. Yeah, you can actually skip that part, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not too yeah. confident with it when I don't get the Valor form opening. It's not too slow. But yeah, if you don't jump on the Hydra's back, Phil is gonna yell at you forever. Yeah. Until you do, or he's backseating you. Yeah, he's like, get up on the Hydra's back, and get he does it like he does it forever. Like he never stops. Um, it's really funny. All right, Trinity time. Yeah. So. But wait, it doesn't do any damage. What? No way, man. That's, That's because... crazy. Did they patch it? No shot. No, There's just, no way. It just gathers hits on no the first way. part, and then. It does the damage on the second part, depending on how many hits you got. Yeah. So as you can imagine, um, pretty useful tool for some fights. Um, yeah. Demix especially. You can also use it there uh, to kill, um, you know, some clones. Actually, you, you deal damage to Demix as well, but uh, yeah, it's it's a really useful ability. Like, it's really nice. In Cage 2, like, uh, Cage 2 Japanese for the PS2, you actually, like, deal so much damage, it's crazy. It's insane. Yeah, just like that, we yeah. hit Hydra. And that's Hydra. Oh, we also got Drive, nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we get all Drive back at the end of the world anyway. Yeah, true. Oh yeah, funny story, there's also Meg there that can give you items. Uh, yeah. yeah. She can heal you and give you drive and MP yeah. orbs. People don't actually know that, it's it's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Yep, looks, looks like, like we're <laughs> Looks like we <laughs> It's so funny. We are going to give Pooh a visit. If you have anything to say during that time, feel free to do so. Yes, we do have something nice. We have a five euro donation by Spectre, with a message saying, Hey all, shout outs to Yoris for getting crowned later this run. I don't know how he does it without getting on the Hydra's back. <laughs> yep. And uh, Tony, you forgot something, mate. Wow. That actually missed me, but anyway. Something, okay. something, we have to protect Hollow Bastion, something, something. Yeah. It's funny because I, I feel like we've defended Hall of Bastion like so many times. Like, how, how, how many more times do we have to do it? <laughs> it's crazy. But I yeah. don't know. Maybe we will come back. Wink, wink. Maybe. But yeah, they steal the book and uh, they actually rip the pages. So Pooh is, um, well, in his words, somebody we don't know. And he yeah. doesn't know us either. And uh, it's kind of sad, really. So the game just wants you to grab torn pages. We're not going to do that, unfortunately. Uh, Pooh doesn't have anything useful for us. So yeah, we go to Beast Castle. <laughs> yeah, remember uh, we mentioned some fights uh, and when you have a lot of hits. This is one of them, and Trinity Limits is very good to build up hits. Yep. So we just do that, and the fight ends, pretty much. It's so funny. I, I, I like it's. It never gets old. Like you just see the the, the shadows, and then it's like, boop, done. Let's go. Yeah. So right now we basically go to um, Bell. There's like a problem in Beast Castle, and um, 
you know, the beast is not really acting uh, like himself. I think he needs to have a Snickers bar or something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but um, uh, if you see me using the Valor uh, attack here, that attack is called Over the Horizon. It's faster to do on slopes, so that's why I do it. Yeah. So yeah, now we basically have to find a way to Beast Room. Uh, there's like some um, knights that are actually block blocking uh, the entrance to the stairs to Beast Room. So we have to go underground um, to rescue some friends. Also, this section is uh, annoying. Yeah, that's why I just use spells in the meantime. Yeah. To pass the time. Yeah, there's nothing really to do here. You just push uh, yeah. cabinet. So that next uh, fight is extremely precise, extremely scary, and I don't have a backup, so yeah. I will uh, I will need a bit of focus. Of course, man. I'll explain later what's going on. Uh, nice. Oh, it did Let's work. go. Yeah, Let's go. That was really good. The gargoyle was in the way, so I didn't oh, have man. my usual setup. Basically, what happened? I wanted to whiff some hits on purpose so that the last hit did the exact amount of uh, damage to uh, basically bypass the second phase of the fight. Yeah. Normally, the the possessor, the dark ball, goes back into the door uh, for a second round, but thanks to the ability on the keyblade we got from Olympus. Uh, air combo boost. It basically adds damage to the finisher based on the number of hits. So that's why I needed to basically have enough damage to do half a bar uh, before actually reaching the halfway point. So that's why I needed to whiff a certain amount of certain amount of hits. It's really crazy. Like that that strat is like if you just get one hit or you know you miss a hit like entirely, like it just falls apart very fast. Um, but thankfully, Jor's got it. But yeah, now we just pretty much activate some lanterns because there's a passage, and of course, Cogsworth on the <laughs> on the machine. He's cranking, you know. Yeah. Like it's kind of funny. He's a clock as well. Like, um, but yeah, uh, we open this passage to actually go to Beast's room. Also, jump scared. Cool. Um, and. Um, yeah, I guess Beast definitely does not feel like himself, so we're gonna give him a good old wakey wakey yeah. with uh, some key blades to the face. Yeah, as always, man. same thing as in Twilight Town. You you always have to give your friends a little beating from time to time. Yeah, this guy's reeking of bad vibes, honestly. Yeah, and then it's just like, oh, okay, okay, I remember you. You were good. You were nice to me in the first game. I like how Cogsworth just like Please, yells Please, master, <laughs> compose yourself. And then it's like Cogsworth, what happened? Like, <laughs> so funny. Um, I'm taking my money as well, and I'm a bit low. I think we'll see. I guess. Yeah. Maybe I will need to sell potions. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. We should be good. So yeah, um, one thing we can take advantage of, um, the PC version and PS4 actually introduced uh, really fast loads. So we can actually go outside to the world. Um, we can just, you know, travel to where we need to go, where the game wants us to go, instead yeah. of just uh, going with Valor form. It was already possible in the PS2 days, but uh, here we can do more of them, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, um, another series of two fights that are extremely precise. So here I manipulate uh, this attack by going backwards at the beginning of the fight. No! Oh man. Oh, I think I give him uh, one too many hits at the start. Yeah, a little bit. Oh well. Ah, oh, that's fine. Whoa! What? Slow down. <laughs> that's impressive. Camera. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's nice. I still was in Valorform, so I will get the orbs back. It's no biggie. I can still do the the, the strat for uh, Darkthorn. Yeah. Darkthorn is actually like uh, kind of more difficult. He goes invisible, and um, you can hit him, but he does like uh, a lot of things. He can go up the chandelier. Um, 
He can attack with the chandelier. Uh, he can throw you towards one of the like pillars, and you have to do a reaction command. Um, uh, there you go. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I didn't do enough damage for some yeah. reason before. It's but fine. Maybe you can explain solo Trinity, which I just used as well. Yeah, how so different it works from normal Trinity. Yeah, so solo Trinity actually is. Um, if you don't have all your party members, you know, down goofy, you can actually use, uh, it just does attacks and then just one hit. Um, it's really useful to actually close in on enemies and we will use it in certain situations later. Uh, if we want to get like a projectile close to an enemy and then deal damage with a certain spell and get close yeah, up to them. Yeah, because your, your spells move with you. So if yeah. you are using a spell and using solo trinity, the spell moves with you, the spell's yeah. hitbox. It's really cool. Also, some cool world map movement. You can actually walk like that between worlds, and fa that's faster than just yeah going around normally. So now we get to Disney Castle, a world that was supposed to be in the first game and um, you could never explore. It was in trailers. It's also in the files, but you can't actually go there. So now we get full access to the courtyard um, and all that stuff, which is really nice. We also uh, yeah, have. Don't do three here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was I thinking? Nah, it's all good. But yeah, we have a lot of shadow spawning. Uh, this is actually a good place to grind valor if you want to. But uh, yeah, it was yeah, a lot of time. We, so. we don't really need to grind valor. Of course. We also get introduced to escort missions. Um, so unlike the other missions we had so far, this Let's one go. actually yes. has a damage bar, uh, similar to Meg. The you know the. Yeah. P fight. Meg actually Let's had go. that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, you basically have to make sure that that character doesn't get too damaged. Also, it's time to push that mouse! Yeah, I had a bad setup, but you can basically push her like that, oh, and it's that's faster so than... That's so good. It's faster than just using the reaction commands. Yep. But the, the architect didn't make the wall completely... Hey, don't completely, worry, this is intended. 100% uh, intended. Yeah, the, the architect didn't make the wall completely flat, so you kind of have to... Uh, yeah. To... Um, to navigate that. <laughs> I think that's what Mickey did as well. Like He's like, okay, it's time to push the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. 100%. But yeah, um, that's a really cool strat. Unfortunately, it can still, like, you know, you can still mess it up. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to get it, like, consistent 100%. Yeah. And then we got Ball Towers, the best yes. enemy that they could possibly this choose way. for this room, of course. Let's go. Yes. The worst part about this is that this if we were to call Mini, like, really far away, she has a certain amount of distance she goes towards. Um, so it doesn't really, like, it, there's no difference whether or not we stick close to her or just go far away. Like, either way, we have to call her over every five seconds, unfortunately. So, you know, can't really do much about it. Yeah, I kind of this wanted way. to grab money, but the, the bolt towers are dying very yes. uh, far away from me, so yeah. there's not a lot on the way. way. So, uh, yeah, I'll just Let's sell go. potions. Yes. That's fine. Oh, oh, nice. Just need to ask the game this kindly, <laughs> I guess. It always listens, man. Like, it's really funny. This way. You think it never listens, but it does. Let's go. Yes. And we gained an accessory slot, which is useful to have more accessories, to have more strength. Yep. Okay, I need to sell three potions. Exactly. No more, no less. Actually, I will do more probably, but... <laughs> <laughs> Just to be on the safe side. But yeah. Um, we basically go here. And Merlin and, uh, helps yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, like, we have to go and get Merlin because he has to fix... Uh, he has to help us fix the uh, issue that's uh, causing the corner throne of light to be in darkness. And... Um, we go to the past. No, not back to the future, okay? Uh, um. Oh, yeah, I cannot buy two because I don't have enough money. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, why the, <laughs> that's why my button doesn't work, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, we buy two tourmaline um, rings. Uh, they give us more, um, more AP and more strength. So, yeah. you know, we remove the metal we got from uh, that very good fight that we lost. So now we have a run-in with uh, Pete, but he's not the actual Pete that we're supposed to be chasing. He's actually from uh, another time. Uh, but, you know, Sora doesn't actually know. They don't know. Um, yeah. 
So we just beat uh, someone that did nothing wrong, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Happens. But it's pretty funny that he's okay with it. Like, he, he just, like, you know, he's like, what? Uh, yeah, no, I don't <laughs> need to menu. Yeah. It's really funny. He's oblivious to the whole thing. But, uh, yeah, basically, so Mickey asks us, um, well, not directly, Let's but, go. you know, implied. He's like, oh, my God, help. Um, so we go into these um, scenarios. We protect the town. We go to the scaffolding, you know, and stuff like that. We also go to Mickey's house. You know, which is crazy. We actually help uh, Mickey himself, and he uh, shakes. I just wanted to kill him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, we, he shakes our hand uh, at the end. Also, uh, Chicken Little has, I guess, magnet properties. I should say, like he can call in enemies, which is really nice uh, when he does. And uh, yeah, helps a lot. Yeah, we will. Have a lot of use for of Chicken Little this run. That's actually the only summon we use in this category. Yeah, he's really useful. Um, like in a lot of uh, cases, he can attack enemies, but he can also call them in, which is great. Like full yeah, it crowd kind of control. Like, on, it sort of depends on Sora's position, the enemy's position, and yeah. his position. Uh, oh, okay, nice. that worked. Yeah, I thought they were gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go aggressive, but I guess not. Oh my god. If you've played this game, you know hot rods are annoying. Yeah, hot rods are just. They're not fun. Oh my god! What? Chicken little manipulation. Oh my god. I actually didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know that was if possible. If you're far away, he does other attacks. Okay, that's pretty sick. I guess you learn something new every day. Yeah, it's all about positioning. Yeah, we basically that mayhem bar like increases when uh, enemies are like kind of causing chaos. So we have to put a stop, and we do in the most creative way, which is nice. Look at that! Well, I was mashing triangle as well. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on, game! Oh, seriously? Well, okay, all right. I guess we're here for more fun then. Yeah. Yeah, so we also equipped uh, Reaction Boost earlier, uh, which increases, like I mentioned, uh, the attacks done by Reaction Commands, which is really useful. Yeah. It is useful indeed. We have only one uh, window left to do before the yep. final boss fight of this world. And it is Mickey's house that we do last. Yep. <laughs> it's like, I hope you don't need that stuff, Mickey. It's fine. It's all gone, yeah, it's all void. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, Trinity limits. I kind of whiff intentionally so that it just does the finisher, basically. Yeah. And Very pulls nice. every enemy in. There it is. <laughs> the handshake. Yeah. The famous... <laughs> Famous handshake. And here we are going to stop the real Pete. The present Pete. Yep. Hey, that's not... That's not cool, Pete. Don't do that. Yeah. It's not PG, man. I'm gonna thunder you to death for that. Yep. So, yeah, we can just basically throw objects that he spawns back at him. And they can throw in thunders in between without losing time, and that's... Yeah. Makes it uh, fast, because otherwise, if it was just with the objects, I would need a second cycle, basically. Yeah. So this uh, this part actually really sucks, because you have to hang on onto the, um, onto the you know, thing, and um, yeah. it's... You, uh, you can essentially get frame trapped easily. Yeah. What most people do tend to do is, like, they pause buffer, but we have enough strength to actually finish the deal uh, really yeah. fast. What, what I do is I just mash both buttons at the same time yeah. so that if there is a triangle it hopefully works i think it works um for the most part but then it just like kicks you out if uh, the boat goes like too um too far like I guess. back yeah i didn't get uh knocked back here so it's yeah okay. it's all good oh he <laughs> did the jump i was not prepared for the jump well good <laughs> good good job pete <laughs> pete is meta gaming me right now yeah He's like playing 5D chess right yeah, there. Exactly. He's like, <laughs> uh, I guess 
What is he doing? <laughs> no, but be because I'm supposed to be in Valor form already, so. Oh, okay. I'm back on. I'm back on track now. Yeah. So. Uh, these parts we can't actually speed up. Uh, they're like HP gates. We get thrown into the same scenarios we saw earlier, and um, yeah, we just have to basically get to the specific HP gate we're supposed oh. to be. Oh my god! <laughs> so that was uh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Get out of my way! Okay, I will. Oh my god! <laughs> that's like right in the face, like yeah. smacked. We also get one of the best spells, Reflect. Best spell. We get one of the best spells, then one of the worst Keyblades. Yeah. <laughs> and then a Dry Form, which Dry Forms are all great. Yeah. And that also puts Anti Points back to zero, so there you go. Really nice. Yeah, it's basically the route is, uh, is done so that we never have the chance to, uh, to go into Anti Form. Uh, but it's kind of funny, the form that you never see makes the whole run uh, adapt to it, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Or something that you never see. It's crazy. It's also crazy because, like, uh, the spots that you get the forms, like, they're basically pretty, like, set in stone. But it's, um, like, I guess, com compared to the older versions of the game, like, Cage 2, like, you don't get, like, limit form and stuff. But it's still, like, you don't you don't ever see that form. Like, it's really funny. Um... But yeah, it's great. Awesome stuff, really. So now we fight pirates, uh, very similar to the movie. Um, when they're in, um, the, like, when the moon shines, they pretty much just get exposed, and we can just use magic. Uh, magic is the best. Blizzard specifically freezes them in place. Fire would get them moving, which we don't want, and thunder actually makes them move again, so... Yeah. Another chicken little fight, so it's pretty consistent, this one. Oh, I say <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> Man. Good old jinxing. Ah, well. What is happening? Oh, he threw, uh, he threw firecrackers. Yes, right. yes. Okay. Yeah. I was like, how did they go up? <laughs> but yeah. Chicken little is really good, honestly, like as a crowd control uh, party member, I guess. Yeah, we use, it. We use him a lot. Yeah. I guess we can mention the other mod that comes up uh, in a bit. Yeah. Which is uh, not really a mod for uh, speedrunning specifically. It's just uh, it replaces the map that Jack uh, uses to choose where we go by uh, a text box, basically. Because the map unfortunately crashes the game, so that's pretty much the community patching the game. Yeah. It's unfortunate. This version of the game has been really really good in terms of like just you know raw porting but like at the same time there's been like so many inconsistent crashes like it's kind of unreal like i don't even understand um but yeah for the most part community has kind of uh stepped up and made some mods which actually help uh the game tremendously so we're glad about that so now we got so that, a time fight. Yeah, that's yep. a time fight, which means that this chest specifically is pretty free and it has a mythical shard, which is one of the ingredients to synth the drive recovery. So I grab it. Yep. Because that doesn't lose time. And so here, my goal is just kill as many pirates as possible, get as much EXP as I can. Yep. But. After the peak fight in Olympus, if we get level 14, we're usually set for the rest of the run. But the EXP routing is especially important in early game, but after that it's okay. Yeah. We don't have to worry about it too much. We oh don't God. even have EXP boost on anymore. Yeah. We would ju ra just rather use the AP on some, on some combat tools instead. Oh yeah, if you go into FPS mode here, you can actually go invisible. Oh yeah, you, you can <laughs> yeah. use FPS mode to uh, drain your summon gauge, and that's how you level up summons, but we don't really need to do that. Yeah. This ambush we skip because it's slow. Yeah. You can actually skip every fight in Port Royal that's like in the ship, um, yeah. just by going into the room like that there's a save point. Yeah, the, the first one I didn't skip because it's fast. Yeah. But the, the second one is, is not fast. Also, this is a fight where it's kind of uh, important that we don't actually get, you know, 
we don't die. Um, so there's a gimmick in this fight where Sora has the medallion and we have to make sure that it doesn't get stolen. Anytime it gets stolen, you have a minute uh, to actually obtain it back. So, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Um, there's an enemy ship as well firing at our ship, but it doesn't matter. We just have to kill the enemies. Oh, I, I ran out of MP. Uh, that's okay. It's almost the end of the fight. I can yeah. just... Scram combos. Oh, my God. Uh, did that break chicken a little? If you get hit by the enemy's uh, ship, basically if you get hit by something that's not an enemy, then chicken little will try to uh, retaliate at uh, whatever hits you, in which case... Where did he come from? Uh, what? He just spawned, I think. <laughs> what was that? I've never seen that in my life. What? Did you... What? <laughs> I don't know. That's never happened before. I've never seen that in my life. I swear. I'm, I'm not really surprised by anything anymore, <laughs> to be honest. Usually they're meant to come from the sides, but like I've never seen him just like drop from above. I, uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. I guess new things anyway, but uh, yeah, now they basically hijacked our ship, tied us up and just put explosive barrels that we need to get rid of. Jack is the master of, uh, you know. That, that was odd, though. That yeah. hotless really hit itself. <laughs> it's so bizarre, man. This game just does funky stuff sometimes. Uh, it's really cool. You should anyway, check it out, definitely. Anyway. We are going to kick Barbosa's ass right now. Hell yeah. Yeah, so Barbosa called us. Actually, no, sorry. The pirates, his crew essentially ingrates. Um, so we're just going to smack him around for it and kill him. Sorry, it has yeah. to be done. Um, Barbosa works like any other pirates, by the way. He is only... Uh, it's only possible to hit him when he's on the moonlight, so that's why we have to kill his little uh, heartless here. That helps him keep the, the darkness around. Yep. And now we can hit him. Also, we have to be careful. Um, of course, it can't happen in uh, beginner mode, but uh, Jack can actually die here. And uh, it's uh, kind of a problem, so... You mainly want to freeze Barbosa and just uh, get him in a corner. Oh, I think oh, he's... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. No, uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Let's show off the cool... Uh... <laughs> there you go. I guess let's show off the cool reaction command then. Heck, yeah. Oh, my God. Is he in the shadows? No, he's oh. not. Last you to pitch. Nice. Yeah, I guess that works. Yeah. That's fine by me. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Barbosa can just, like, choose not to get hit sometimes. Like, he just does his own thing and uh, plot armor, you know. Hyper armor, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, once we are going to Agrabah, if you have anything to say, feel free to do so. Absolutely. I thought it was high time to uh, talk about the charity that we are raising money for during this event, which is MIND. It is a nationwide organization committed to prevent mental health issues. MIND strives to provide support to individuals and families facing mental health challenges, and all of your don donations will go to MIND. On top of that, if you do place a donation, make sure to put it towards one of our many incentives. They are there, they are up for grabs, uh, grab some of them, and some just need a certain amount uh, pushed forward uh, toward it. So, you know, get those ready, get those in, and uh, yeah, good stuff. So what I did at the start of the world was just death abuse in that fight and then I synthesized my drive recovery and bought some ethers. Uh, I didn't get many ethers, so I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna grab the ones from Aladdin, I think, actually. Yeah, I think it's smart to do, just to be on the safe side. I don't usually need to do that, but that, that's just extra menu yeah, time. Yeah, why not? Um, so uh, we actually customize uh, Aladdin and... Um, basically a party members to Sora attack. Um, what that means is basically they're not going to attack the enemy. They're just going to be in support mode and uh, just uh, wait on Sora's attacks, basically. Um, like, they're just not going to be interacting with enemies. The reason for that is because we actually want to do a gauntlet of uh, enemy fights, and they don't. we don't want them getting in our way and uh, hitting enemies, like, away from us, so... 
Okay, Sorry, also I'm not this. using Wisdom form and using the special growth ability from Wisdom, which is Quick Run. And yep. I aim to level up this form in this world, because it has a lot of heartless that are easy to kill. And that's how you level up this form. Yep. So that I can uh, Quick Run with uh, normal Sora afterwards. Also, push that monkey. <laughs> yep. You have to lead uh, Abu to, uh, to put the jewel. Yeah, you can actually push him. You don't have any walls, so you sort of just have to go into him like that. But yeah, you can actually save time doing that, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, as you can tell, uh, this game really likes to throw some mini games here and there. It's, um, you know, it's fun stuff, I guess. This one is uh, pretty self-explanatory. We just have to defeat enemies uh, before the time runs out. Otherwise, we have to redo the challenge. What challenge? To go to the treasure room, obviously. Yeah, I remember that from a movie. Yeah, that happened. Sora was there, 100%. <laughs> anyway, um, oh. so yeah. Oh. <laughs> one guy survived. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, Reflect is like kind of, doesn't hit that much. Uh, the second and third, like, Reflect you get, which gives you Reflega, like, it's, um, it's really good. This is it. But we just use Reflect. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just use uh, set strats, basically, for this. Also, we're going to see some swag right here. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> you got this. Nice. So that's what we were talking about. I basically did Reflect and then Solo Trinity to bring the Reflect with me and hit the second enemy with uh, the Reflect damage. Yeah. No, that's not the good, good <laughs> button. Please. Listen, man, you just had to give it a whip, you know, like, how do you translate fire at it? Yeah. All the chests that I'm grabbing basically have uh, either ethers, AP boosts, or the synth items. Yeah, so this fight in particular is, like, pretty pretty easy to deal with. Um, you have a lot of heartless, giving you a lot of time to actually level up uh, with some form. And um, there's uh, a bandit spawn, actually, as the last spawn. Which can get really annoying, but thankfully you can manage it with um, Trinity. So I'm just doing fires on the fire enemies just to build my drive back, so I can go wisdom again. And I don't, uh, I don't actually risk nice. going anti form here. I know my anti points. Yeah, they're pretty low. So yeah, we just whip out Goofy, go Trinity. Get as many hits as possible and just Let's go. go ahead and finish them off. And Very just nice. like that. Man, that, that camera angle, like, always, like, I don't know, Sora's hair just looks so weird. I don't know why. Okay, so now we have um, a boss fight, the Twin Lords. They're pretty easy to deal with. Like, they're not that difficult. It's just that, um, well, I guess some things can get kind of wonky. Um, they have like a lot of uh, fire and blizzard attacks, which can hit your party members. They got some weird stuff, which you can also like, I guess, like react to it. Like there's like um, fire orbs, which you can actually blizzard and they stun fire the fire lord. Also nice fire texture right there. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go. But yeah, we utilize forms to make uh, quick work of the boss of both both of them. It's over. Yeah, I just push them through phases with Valor. Yeah. Oh, he was already on his last phase. Nice. Oh my god. Yeah, you can use their reaction command, like Blizzard Gun and uh, Fire Gun, but um, they just get, like, launched, so not really worth. Yeah. Here is when the route deviates massively from any percent. In any percent, you would go to Halloween Town, 
because you need to do that anyway. Here you don't because you finish the category before uh, the point where you need to have all the routes complete. So we open the pathway to Twilight Town and we just go there. Uh, so what that means is I chose to go to Agrabah to level up my Wisdom form and to get Finishing Leap, but I, I let uh, Magnets behind me. Yeah. But that's worth it in the end because you, you wouldn't save enough time with Magnets yeah. to um, justify going to yeah. Howling Town. Yeah. But that Yo. means we do oh, yeah. some cool Magnetless yeah. strats. Yeah. You got chicken a little as a. You know, I, yeah, I wanted to summon him before the fight, but that's okay. <laughs> nah, it's all good. That still works, I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Give me strength. I mean, I can just move a bit to make him trigger. Oh, man. Chicken a little, come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit weird. Like, they, like, summons might work, like, how you want them to, or they can just completely deviate from what you, from how you want them to work. Um, mm, why don't really... I have ethers? Did you buy them? You I did, did didn't you? They, yeah. Maybe they're not on auto refill. Oh, yeah, you didn't. Which... I don't think you put auto reload. Uh, maybe I didn't. Yeah. I'll, I'll check after that. I guess. It's over. So I can just do part, those oh, yeah. combos yeah. instead then. Yeah. Improvisation. <laughs> yeah, Finishing so, leap showing how good it is. Yeah. It's crazy because um, if you have Magnet or Chicken Little, you can just use Finishing Leap. It's a really good finisher. It only exists in 2FM, of course. Um, uh, yeah, but in the original version, the Twin Lords give you Explosion instead, which is probably less balanced. Yeah, <laughs> it's very broken. It's crazy. But it's also really good because um, it gives you iframes. So even if it's not worth it, it is in the end because you get so many iframes throughout Explosion. You just have to make sure you um, do it fast. We also get Limit Form and Oathkeeper. Um, Limit Form actually has... Um, the form set, or rather the abilities from KH1, Zantatsuken, like every move set is basically directly from KH1, including the limits that you can do, which replace your magic. You can do Sonic Blade, Ars Arcanum, um, what else was it? Uh, there was like uh, Last Ragnarok. Raven. Ragnarok. Ragnarok, yeah. And uh, the, the one where you throw the Keyblade. Yeah, the, I, I, the, I, I, I oh, Strike Raid. Strike, strike Raid, raid yeah, that one. I remember, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, pretty good form. Uh, it levels up with limits, but you know, not really gonna use it except for one time. <laughs> yeah, it, it will shine one time. Yeah. Let me put my stuff on auto refill. <laughs> yeah, you should probably do that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, three should be plenty. I was supposed to do that uh, in the menu in Land of Dragons, and I guess I forgot. Oh well. Uh, well, okay. Nice. I'm grabbing this chest now because it's faster to do it with Wisdom Form than on the first visit with Valor. Yeah. And it has a drive recovery. Funny enough, actually, Tony pointed out that uh, in the routes I need 13 drive recoveries. <laughs> How familiar yeah. is that number? Yep. So I already have two, and the rest I will need to farm on a Mushroom minigame later on. Yeah. Mushrooms are actually required to um, to get one of the crowns. Unfortunately, they're very slow to do because you have to go through every world. We don't have time to do that, so of course yeah, we actually, actually skip them. Actually, the last one is in the world that never was and only appears after you've beaten the game once. Oh, so, yeah, 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 it's a And then yeah. Lingering Will also appears after you've beaten the game once, so the only option for the fastest round is the one in Cavern of Remembrance. Yeah. If only there was a way to skip the whole data org. That would be neat, right? Yeah. Would be. We also get the best, I want to say, like, we, we get two amazing things uh, in this part. We get Space Paranoids with light cycles. And we also get one of the best lines uh, that we actually skip, unfortunately, but it's... Say hello to limit form, by the way. Yeah, the, really I cool. only use it because it has draw and base Sora doesn't. Yeah. In fact, I like I like draw so much that I will uh, actually change Keyblades to have draw on my Keyblade. <laughs> yeah, we get Follow the Wind, which has draw, which is really nice. But yeah, we get light cycles, like I mentioned, and we also get the 
DTD, the yes. door to darkness. Yes, absolutely. We also get a funny like line by Mickey, like it's it's really funny. We get to skip that though, so yeah. It's all in cutscenes. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, mini games, as always, and I'm gonna go into wisdom form here to break the the block because that counts as a finisher. Otherwise, you have to do a full combo on it. Yeah. So cool too. Just go up to it and like, like so yeah. cool. This game is very flashy, very cool looking. If only the other games were as cool. <laughs> as they no, they I'm are kidding. in their own yeah. way. I they really are. love Kingdom Hearts 1. It's extremely different from this game, but I love it. I love yeah. both. Also, we got Master Form here. Really cool form. Yeah, Master Form's growth ability is Aerial Dodge. Which, um, it's basically a double jump. Yeah. And that's how we are going to uh, be able to skip the Cavern of Remembrance. We're just going to go back and forth between uh, Aerial Dodge on Sora and Aerial Dodge on Master Form to gain infinite heights. But we need Drive Recoveries to fuel that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise you can't transform infinitely if you don't have Drive. Oh my god. Here you just want to kill five enemies as fast as possible to do the second part. Yeah. This section is actually like, um, I guess you could say it's an auto scroller. Uh, it's besides... pretty much an auto scroller, but yeah. there are some places where you can hit the enemies and get boosted. Yeah. But uh, other than that, not too much to say. If uh, Host has anything to say, that would be a great time to do it. Um, if I uh, will get some time on the mic, I will surely utilize it. And in this case, we will talk about a nice little sponsor that we have, because you may have been noticing that my voice sounds awfully smooth. Well, yes, that is because we welcome Luet as our premium microphone sponsor. With a focus on your needs and the help of modern and precise manufacturing techniques, um, Luet creates audio gear that makes you sound exceptional. Well, uh, whether you're a recording artist, content producer, or streamer, if you want to upgrade your stream to the next level or need an edge in the studio or live on stage, check out the extensive Lewitt library of award-winning products to find the right microphone for your budget and needs. Real cool. All right. Um, trying to get the boost, but it's kind of hard. Yeah. Only the green enemies can do them, and then the white enemies can do any attack from the other types, so sometimes the white ones will give you uh, yeah, so an opening. Basically, the way that works is uh, the green enemies always guard, and because we hit their guard, we actually get launched. And um, normally you get launched on the wall if you get hit if you hit their guard, but because we actually have to turn, we do it in a precise way where it actually launches us where we need to go, and it's uh, faster, saves some time. It's really cool. Yeah, I got one of those <laughs> during this light cycle. Also, we get to hack now. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, that's very nice. You see that password screen? Yeah, we're not going to put any password. We're just going to kill No, enemies. we're just going to kill Heartless. <laughs> that's what we do best. That's how it works, right? Yeah. That's what everyone does Let's go. when they hack. Here I'm actually dismissing Chicken Little when he has done his job so that the enemies can attack me so that I can reflect. Yep. That's how creative you have to be when you don't have access to magnets. Yep. But yeah, so what we do here is we just get clusters, we freeze two screens, and the, on the third screen, you're gonna hear warning, so enjoy that. But there are more enemies that spawn, and uh, we can just take that time to grind. Yeah, I actually want to be level 21 here, because that gives me some AP. And depending, it depends oh, no. on the individual run. Sometimes I don't have to grind at all, but here, since my experience was solo, I needed to grind more. It's either that or I get two more AP chests during the run. Um, yeah. I think it's pretty similar in terms of time. Yeah, and I mean, here, if you can get from a level up, might as well. Yeah. Here I use uh, Wisdom Form, which in any percent you can't really do that because of anti-points routing, but here you can, and yeah, I guess we didn't explain levels of growth, but uh, when, let's say, Valor Form 
uh, gave me high jump. It also uh, improved the, the high jump of Valophone itself yeah. at the same time. The maximum you can get is like a fourth level up, which is called max. So every form can get um, the growth ability, but it's a max uh, that you can do. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't obtain that with Sora. You can you go do. up to level three. Yeah, yeah unless you, you go to level three. Unless you mod the game somehow. Yeah. But here we got... Hostile program. Hostile program. The best enemy. So great. Yeah, we just have to get clusters. Um, we do some damage. Um, the damage is not really the most important thing. It's mostly just getting clusters, but... I mean, as long as I hit this HP gate, there is... Yeah. I guess you have to hit the HP gate, yeah, but it's... Yeah, which I, I haven't broken it yet. Yeah. Because you see I don't do any damage, and there I did a finisher. I guess I didn't yeah. mention... I don't remember if you mentioned, but some bosses actually need to be uh, killed by a finisher as well. Yeah, we did mention that. Yeah, we should probably do. <laughs> Yeah, so this game, unfortunately, you cannot hit enemies with like one hit and uh, have them die. Like, you have to actually do a finisher. Uh, your party members, like, hits don't actually count. It's your finisher that needs to hit the boss. Man, that, like, Oren, uh, Oren, sorry, um, that Tron, like, limit always, like, scares me. <laughs> Like you're gonna do setup. Yeah, we just use Comet. It's really good. Also, he's gonna run into it. Oh man. Yeah. It's unfortunate. I, mean, I need to hit him a bit more. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. And we conveniently have three good things: a new drive gauge, jackpot for Goofy, and vicinity break. Yeah. Yeah, vicinity break is actually, uh, I guess, yeah, it. Um, it's basically an ability that when you're close to um, to a lot of enemies, Sora will actually spin around and just hit all of the enemies. Uh, it's really useful for again for crowd control as well. Yeah, I mean, we only uh, pretty much use it here for yeah. the, that one fight, but <laughs> pretty much because that's actually the last fight that we will do in this round. After that, it's just. Completing Core. stuff, leveling forms, all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, so here it's like, in the story, like, we just have, um... Oh my oh, god. That would have killed me on critical mode, by the way. Yeah. Dancers are the worst. Um, yeah, this we basically... Oh, yeah, just want to reflect stuff, man. Yeah. There we go. Nice. That way I can summon my boy, the chicken. Oh my god. Oh, it's a, the dancer is not dead. Okay. <laughs> I, I just realized that he wasn't dead. Yeah. Um, here it's like we basically finish like stuff from space paranoids. Um, and then there's stuff going on like outside of the virtual world. We have to help Leon. Well, we're not really going to do that. We're just going to do other stuff, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. No, but Monochrome, all the win. And wait, what is this new place? What? I wonder what this is. How did that gate there? What? So yeah. here I'm just using Goofy's jackpot while he is in my party before I transform into Master Form. No, that's not the good form. I did oh, the... Yeah, because yeah, you can yeah, you can just uh, exit the world and re-enter. Yeah. Um, basically, I was on wisdom form, so uh, I needed to do one more input to go to master. I yeah. forgot. It's all good. Yeah, unfortunately, like menuing is very crucial, actually, yeah. and um, like unlike you know obviously shortcutting stuff, drive forms summons and limits. Like you can like pre-select them, but sometimes that also is kind of a issue. Also, Master Form levels up with uh, Drive Orbs. Um, but, yeah, like, sometimes you can just have something selected, but that also messes up, you know, menuing. Like, sometimes you want a specific thing, you might select something else, so, yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah, so, um, we only level up uh, to level 2, because next time we go to the cavern, we can actually just reach level 3. And now we are going to bully uh, a mushroom for yeah. 5 minutes. <laughs> 
that's the fastest mushroom minigame available at this point. And mushrooms give um, drive recoveries as long as you're not too bad at them. Yeah. Yeah, we can just um, we can just wait for the mini game to like end, but we can just kill the mushroom, do the mini game intended, and uh, there you go. You get a drive recovery. You also get um, weapons for your party members. Not really useful to be honest, but uh, hey, it's a cool thing. You know? Yeah, you can get you get tents and you get some special synth items that only come oh, yeah. from mushrooms as well. The tranquility yeah. uh, items, so yeah. tranquility shards stone gem and crystal yeah. and you need to beat the the mini game in uh see here's the plain mushroom plus that's uh, donald weapon also you got example. a new record there <laughs> yeah really cool. i mean the record is only from that specific save so yeah that just means i did it faster than the previous time yeah but yeah we basically so, just grind here yeah Nothing. since we had uh two recoveries by the way the, the orbs that i found yes. earlier can also they also have a 10% chance of dropping a drive recoveries, so sometimes you get lucky and you can skip one of the mushrooms. But here we have to do it uh, 11 times and we are on the third one. So that's gonna take a bit of time, so if hosting has anything to say, you can very much go ahead. I absolutely have something to say, namely that we have a bonus game coming up and uh, well on Tuesday so it's just a little bit out from now but I want to make sure that people know that we need about 2000 euros to reach that bonus game goal. So if you want to make sure that that happens, get something in. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we get plenty of great incentives to push for. The next run has a bid war, Mario Party 5 character selection. Waluigi is still in the lead from what I know, and uh, you can still pretty easily snipe it. Everything else is pretty close behind it. Just a 5 or a 10 euro donation for your favorite characters might just, you know, get an inch it forward enough. Right, so uh, another thing to mention, we actually equip Oathkeeper because it has an ability called Form Boost, which allows us to stay in a form for longer. If you didn't have Form Boost, that form gauge would actually go down way quicker. Yeah, I couldn't do loops of two mushrooms if that were the case, unless I were to uh, level up Wisdom form more, but that takes time, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, another way you could think of routing this would be leveling master to a higher level so that you need less height and therefore less drive recoveries but that's also slower unfortunately yeah also, okay, the mushrooms, oh yeah, they, uh, yeah Go i was just going to talk a bit more about the mushroom they are part of the things that were introduced in final mix actually they weren't in the original release of kingdom hearts 2 yeah like, the gold crown was also not a thing um, yeah. in uh, KH2 original, so, you know, more uh, post-game content. But yeah, um, like, it's crazy how they actually give you access to mushrooms and stuff like this early. Like... Yeah, pretty much for the most of the first visit worlds, you actually have access to the mushrooms as soon as you beat the world. At this point in the game, because I, I checked for which ones were the fastest and whatnot, you have access to the one in LOD, so yeah. Land of Dragons. You have access to the one in Olympus Coliseum as well. And uh, you have access to the one in Agrabah in the treasure room. You have access to this one, and I might be forgetting one other that you have access to, but I don't remember. The one in Beast's Castle you cannot access. Yeah. The ones in Twilight Town neither. Yeah, I think um, they're locked behind. Uh, yeah. um, what was it? The uh, there's something else. I, I don't remember where the Twilight Town is. I think it's uh, Underground Concourse. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. One there are the, a few mushrooms yeah. in Twilight Town actually. There's this one. There's the one at the entrance of the mansion, and there's the one in the entrance of, of the tower yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy that Twilight Town actually has three instead of, uh, you know, just one, but yeah. The, 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 so the thing is that they actually made them, like, the 13th Mushrooms, like, the 13th organization members. Um, I guess it, you could say they have similarities, but I don't think so. Like, every, every Mushroom just does a different thing. But 
Uh, when you do actually beat all of them, you get um, a crown. You get one of the crowns, and you also get a keyblade called Winner's Proof, which actually gives you the ability no experience. Yeah, but at this point, you shouldn't need experience anymore. It has very yeah, high like stats. It does have very high stats, yeah, but it's... Um, it's kind of weird, honestly, like, I don't know. I guess it's a way of saying, hey, if you're level 99, might as well use that. If yeah, you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, it's, it, it's just weird. Like, the name is Winner's Proof and the ability is like, no experience. All right, fair enough. So yeah, we're going to see like a really cool skip later. Um, yeah, I guess we can talk about that. Yeah, we should probably talk about that. So, so. the way it works, uh, yeah. so you can get infinite height, as I explained earlier, uh, but that wouldn't help us at all if it wasn't for the fact that we can go out of bounds. And uh, basically the second room of the cavern is connected to uh, a corridor that goes to the last room of the cavern, but in between normally, you need to go back and forth a few rooms, but it's actually all connected, so you can actually just go straight to the end. And if you are familiar with the randomizer of this game, uh, it is kind of the same thing that they do, but kind of not. Yeah, it's vastly different. Um, the difference being that core skip being done here requires a lot of precision in terms of um, Going out of bounds, making sure that you stay out of bounds, not clipping inside, um, because if you do clip inside, then you have to go back, start the... Oh, yeah, you have to. Yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. Uh, you have to start the whole trick all over. It. And the worst part is that, um, well, you have to make sure that you go in a specific way at the end to actually ensure that you get the trick. And um, it's really precise. It's very hard. Like, I'm not going to lie. Um, That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just get it first try, easy. Yeah, of course, man. It's that simple. So here I'm gonna finish my Master Form leveling. That's the moment where I get angry if I get the drive recovery after grinding. But it didn't happen, so I'm not angry. Yeah. We also utilize um, movement by using magic. Um, Master Form Fire is, like, really good. As you can tell, that's the thing. Like every form has like a unique sort of way of casting magic. Like they they work the same way, but it's you know different yeah, to maneuver I mean, and we stuff. We did use a bit of wisdom fire during the run to move as well. Yeah, swag. Also, we just leveled up to get aerial dodge level one, which is really nice. That means we get access to aerial dodge level two with master, which is important for the skip. And so here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually room transition and then go back in. That's just a safety thing. That means if I fail the skip and need to take a death to retry, I will have, uh, I don't, I won't need to do that menu again. It will remember the menu. Yep. So here I'm just trying to go out of bounds on that small uh, crack in the wall. Yeah. Like so. Charge to Asa for actually finding the skip um, by complete I bonked, accident. So I, I bonked, so I had to go back in bounds. Yeah. It's very hard. There we go. We're not done yet, of course. There's uh, a lot that doesn't more. work. Oh, oh man. Didn't have yeah. the good angle. Yeah. That's okay. I can retry that pretty quickly, actually. Yeah. It's just that the skip takes actually a long time because it has quite a few steps. And there's a lot of sitting like this uh, out of bounds, basically just chilling there. Yeah. <laughs> And so here is the infinite height thing. It's called the Master Hover deck. I kind of like how when I go back to base, Sora, there is a Goofy that just uh, drops. Yeah, he just like drops, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your party members like spawn where you are, so, you know. Right. Spawn out of bounds. Nah, okay. Oh. I have a backup for that. That's okay. Okay. can just go back here, yeah. use a tent to get my magic back. 
Just need to take it not too quick, I guess. Yeah, you got this. Uh, I don't feel like it yeah. would work. Oh, 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 oh. Stay that was risky. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm walking on eggshells, pretty much. Yeah, it's very easy to clip in. Oh, oh. oh, oh. that's not what I wanted to do, but it still that's, did okay. what I wanted to do. That's really <laughs> nice. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, this this skip is insane. I don't know. I don't know how you pull it off. It's it's insane. I can't do that. <laughs> it is not finished yet. I still have to do yeah. some more master hovering. Do not want to bonk like that. Wow. Just one pixel away from the bonk. Oh my god. Give me strength. Final jump. Easy. Nice. Let's go. That was amazing. Oh that my was god. a very, very quick skip, actually. I only struggled at the beginning a few times and then. Yeah. The skip is crazy, like, it actually skips, like, so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, there are supposed to be, like, three extremely hot fights here. Yeah. And uh, time is coming soon, as soon as I skip the pop-up after this chest. Time. Time. Whew. As you can see, he has the crown. The bronze crown. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, well, that's all for me. Uh, thank you, BSG. Thank you, Tony. And thank you to the... Kingdom Hearts speedrunning Discord. And yeah, that's all for me. All right, excellent. Thank you so much for that run. Brilliant display, very nice time. And uh, next up, we're gonna be heading into Mario Party 5 by Double Double. So uh, that's gonna be some shenanigans, I'm sure. It will.